Hello and welcome to Asian Petrolhead. I'm Charlie Min, Editor-in-Chief of MotorPD.com. We just opened this channel to reach out to you, global audience. So make sure you support us by subscribing to our channel. And then we're going to have lots of exciting content coming. So make sure you turn on the bell notification as well. So let's get started. So today we have the brand new, the fourth generation Hyundai Santa Fe with us today. Our testers equipped with two liter turbocharged gasoline engine producing 235 horsepower and it's made it to eight speed automatic. Last June, Hyundai Motor America announced its pricing for the 2019 Hyundai Santa Fe and it starts around $25,000, which is about $500 bump from the 2018 year model. So this new Santa Fe is direct replacement of 2018 Santa Fe Sports. The long wheelbase version will be called Santa Fe XL. Now we got the naming out of the way. Let's begin from the front. Personally, I think the new front design looks clean and handsome. Just like Kona, Hyundai has divided the day turning run lamp and headlamp vertically just like that. And we have the turn signal located in the bottom with a big cascading grille in the center and chrome accents stretching all the way to the corner. It's a pretty nice looking SUV. Under the hood, there lies two liter turbocharged gasoline engine producing 235 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. An engine is made it to a speed automatic. And would you like to see how fast the Hyundai Santa Fe go? Let me show you. Not bad for a mid-size SUV. And for your information, in Korea, we're given three engine choices. 2-liter diesel, 2.2-liter diesel, and 2-liter gasoline turbo, the one we're driving right now. The new Santa Fe has grown in size, overall length by 2.8 inches and wheelbase by 2.6 inches, having positive impact on the interior volume. And our tester is wearing 235, 55, 19 on front and back. And now let's see how Santa Fe takes on the hard braking. Well, it stopped well in composed manner. Let's continue on the road. First, visibility is excellent. Hyundai claims the new Santa Fe has 41% more glass area compared to the outgoing model. So it's easy to see out of, and these seats are pretty comfortable as well. Our tester has optional 7-inch display in the middle and note that RPM and fuel gauge is good old analog type. The gauges are easy to see and it even changes color according to the drive modes you select. The center fascia design is clean and straightforward. The infotainment and climate control is easy to operate due to these conventional switches and knobs. And except few hard plastics found here and there, it's a very nice place to be. Mm -hmm. 
There are four different types of drive modes in Santa Fe. Let's put the car in sports and drive. So this gasoline engine is of course much quieter compared to the 2 liter diesel we recently drove. As far as the power goes, it moves the car with adequate power. But it's less torquey compared to the diesel. So if you're looking for a quiet SUV, Santa Fe gasoline might be the one for you. For US and international markets, 2.2 liter diesel is on the way. But you're going to have to wait until year 2020 for that one. Enough developed 8-speed automatic works smoothly with the gasoline engine and it always seems to know which gears to play with. We notice few jerks on city driving but other than that it's very smooth. The electrically assisted steering wheel feels a bit numb, but it's on par with other SUVs and it just gets job done. The ride is on softer size for mainly city driving purposes. But Hyundai says they tweak the suspension reasonably, so it might differ by countries. The new Santa Fe is packed with various driving aids, such as adaptive cruise control with stop and go functionality, lane keep assist, and much more. Now we have the system on. As you can see, the lane keep assist is working very smoothly and seamlessly. But for your own safety, always keep your hand on steering wheel. And plus, because I like driving myself. The new Santa Fe even have real occupant alert system that will alert you and even send a message to your phone if it detects movement after you lock and leave your car. Pretty smart. It also has safe exit assist that will not let you open your door if it detects car or bike approaching to your way. Let's move to the back. Notice how the rear glass is more vertical than before, giving more headroom for the second row passengers and even more cargo room for your stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back with more car reviews. See you soon. This is what the key fob looks like and if you ever run out of battery take this part and you can pull this part out and you see there's a the key but how do you use it you can take this part out just like hmm, just like this you see then and then you can close and lock your door and then to put it back, simply just there, okay? There you go. In the new Santa Fe, we have something called Sound Hound. When you press this button while you're listening to the radio, find the name of the song for you. Now searching. I don't know what the logic is, but it takes quite a time.
One more thing I like is that the door covers all these sides. So when you're getting in and out, you can keep your pants clean. You see? 